Requiem. All right, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take the brunt for this one. Uh, I was trying to find another hidden gem, right? We had Dark. We had Cobra Kai. We had some good shows on here that were, like, unexpected for us to be good. So I was like, you know, I want to watch a mystery show. This was under the mystery section, okay? So don't blame me for mm-hmm. this. I was looking it for was a good kinda... mystery show. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I saw fair. it was six yeah. episodes. Find a mystery show. It was called Requiem. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Is it in English? Because I found like two other ones that are pretty cool, but they were in like one was in German, one was in Korean. So I'm like, I just don't want to read subtitles. I wanted to put yeah. a normal show on for once because I'm always the anime guy, right? So I got fucked for it. <laughs> the, so you found Rakim. Yeah, so I found Rikishi himself. <laughs> uh, and wow. Uh, let, I was to say this now. Germany's better than England. <laughs> All right, yeah. this is why you don't win shit, England, <laughs> in the Euros <laughs> or the World Cup. <laughs> That's why Germany always be safe beating your ass. All right, German Germany makes better TV shows than y'all. Sorry, not sorry, not sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I'm not, not a little bit sorry. Get the crumpet. Get the crumpet, bro. We gotta get, get the call, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man fuck dude so yeah i found this show i'll just explain the concept to you there's this chick she uh she she got some shit going on with her mentally and emotionally uh her mom kills herself randomly out of nowhere when she hears a song and now she's gonna go figure out who she is because she thinks her mom's not really her mom she thinks she was kidnapped as a child because she doesn't remember anything and doesn't have any family photos from when she's a kid uh scene <laughs> nice uh nice. man yeah mm-hmm. i'm not holding back on this one i'm just gonna tell you right now i th- okay i, I still even... think I'm... as normal i still think i like this more than you guys just because i like slow burn i like horror and stuff but like okay mm, dude the slow burn did get me on this one yeah oh yeah, yeah very oh it was just oh. i don't even know what was going on I don't. I, don't I did. Show. I did somehow. I I I knew just because I just kind of like I roughly paid attention, but there was so many not misdirections. I would say misleading concepts in this show yeah. that I felt like was done to keep you on your toes, but really it's not as smart as it was. Because I I told you guys I watched episode two. I said either there's a cult kidnapping kids for some sort of ritual, or there's a ghost kidnapping kids because of a ritual that someone already did. Yeah. And lo and behold, by the end, what do we figure out? It's a cult There's doing a, cult. a ritual. It's pretty yeah. obvious. And it's it we got really obvious though when the cop the oh my god. I'm sick of this trope. Former cops who still help out with police stuff are always bad guys. Yeah. Always. Yeah. One of my favorite video games has this trope in it. It's called Heavy Rain. There's a former cop who's a PI now. He's the bad guy of the game. And it's like, uh, dude, I hate this trope. I really do. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I mean, I don't know. It's I'd compare this show, not because of this trope, but I'd compare the show a lot to, like, Hot Fuzz, if Hot Fuzz was, like, absolute shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The whole, like, Cop. oh, the whole city's against you kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And the whole city's actually doing a satanic ritual that's, like and you're part of it but that's the thing that's a cool concept feeling like you're an outsider somewhere is a very common concept but it's also yeah. very fucking good like xenophobia like stuff said, is excellent if you do it right 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 it just I like, hot fuzz. I like hot fuzz that's what i'm saying this is not hot fuzz this is trash because it just felt like every step of the way the people were treating her like she was stupid and then she was doing stupid shit. Like she went about everything the wrong fucking way every time. I don't understand. Yep. Like there's yeah, like seven better ways to go about it other than running up to a kid at a kindergarten. Dude. What? The yeah. first, the first yeah. episode when she questioned whether her mom was her mom, just get a DNA test. Are you serious? Like I'm, I'm going to, I, I, Dude, this bothered me a lot actually, and I'm sorry for. There's a couple actually, things like, that have really fucking simple answers that just no one did. I that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I'm sorry for the people that like genuinely enjoy this. You're not gonna like what I have to say, but like, there's just so many ways around this whole issue that she's having. Like, just get a DNA test. You'll find out your actual parents. You'll find out your mom's not actually your mom. You don't gotta answer every single question. Like, mm-hmm. you're just making trouble for yourself. 
You want to know what my biggest complaint in the show was? And I don't know if it'll surprise you guys or not. But um, they put like five or six different sex scenes in this show. And none of them made any, like none of them were needed. Like it didn't relate to anything. It did not further any part of the story. Kind of. It didn't like it. Just it, there was. There's at least one that did further. The there was character. just one. Yeah, it's the it one was her with and the uh, Australian dude. Yeah. No, I was talking about Trudy. Oh. Oh yeah, I wasn't even talking about that one. I honestly, I think her and the Australian dude. That one actually kind of furthered the plot line, but. The one with Trudy oh, and the dude, and the one dude who wants to buy her movie tickets or whatever. And mm-hmm. she was just getting, they're having sex, and she was just blankly staring off into the corner. Oh, that yeah. was good yeah. because it showed you that she didn't really like that dude, and that she was really like mostly distraught with her situation currently. And that makes sense because of when the other dude shows up later, um, Black Brother, yeah, Hal or whatever. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It makes I, sense, but I it felt I so unnecessary every it time. A little bit forced. Netflix likes to do that. Um, like I didn't, I didn't need that. No, that's the only one I can. At least, way, at least the way they did it. Like if they had at least used it to, you know, further more things or to connect things, I would have been like, all right, like this makes sense. Uh, but they did nothing with them after that. They were just like, yeah, here's two people banging it out and uh, enjoy. Yeah, dude, the scene that like one of them was just the dude dreaming. What's up, Rachel? The scene that really got me, dude, was the part where she was angrily playing the bass at the end. Oh my god! Oh, the the cello. Is that a cello? I thought the big one is, is a bass. No. Uh, the big I, one is a bass. She was playing the cello. You sit down to play the cello. You stand up to play the bass. That's fact. That's okay, fact. I don't. I mean, right. Fuck these instruments. They all look the same. Um, <laughs> They're just bigger or smaller. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's stupid. But okay. Besides the point, she's just like, I'll uh, 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 play the cello. <laughs> she's like swinging her head back and forth. I'm like, hello? <laughs> like, what's going on, dude? I was so confused at that point. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 the uh, I would have rather this actually just been a show about her doing music than oh, what no, they ended up doing with it. Not me, honestly. I don't give a shit. Okay, so one I don't... thing I don't understand, right? The neck scars mean that you've been ridden, which is like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That was yes. a term. Yeah. That was, whoa. <laughs> That's a fucked up term, right? So then we find, let me just tell you now, it's supernatural all over again. There's angels, there's demons. I yeah. just, I'm the fuck. <laughs> I can't get away from it, man. No more. <laughs> They do the same thing too. Is it, oh, you're possessed by a demon. Black eyes. Yes, I you're know. Ba- okay. <laughs> like, okay. So what, good, so dude. her dad. Okay, from this, I don't think there was any angels. Period. Ever. I think her dad no. was ridden by a demon, and the, the, any of the next cars are from demons. This is what I we think get, so too. or devil, or the devil himself, because it just doesn't make any sense. But we'll get we'll get to that at the very end because the next car thing happens to her, and I'm just like, what the fuck? That's weird. Uh, I thought they were in a pocket dimension at first when her dad, when she got teleported into the forest with her dad. I'm like, are we in a pocket mm. dimension? What is going on right now? And I just don't. I was like, also, I, was, I wrote down, like, how the fuck is it angels calling how, calling you right now? I was like, why does yeah. no one in this show have IQ? Like, why would angels I, be calling you and be like, yeah, go fight those people. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. I, I don't <laughs> know, dude. Like, the one dude with IQ is the black dude. I feel like he had an IQ. He was a genius. Was yeah, but then everybody was like, no, you're wrong. You're stupid. Go away. Go away, black yeah. man. And then you got beat for it, dude, with a fucking tire Jeez. iron. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Also, did you guys no. catch the literary reference in this show? Which one? The awesome. yellow wallpaper? No. The yellow no, wallflower? You ever, you ever read that, Eli? Nope. Did I don't you think read I it, Tristan? Or. Is it called the yellow wallflower? Cause yes. No, if it's nope, then I didn't. <laughs> All right, so you guys are illiterate. There's, a, there's All a right. very famous. I believe it's called the yellow wall. Yes, it's called the yellow wallpaper. It's a short story, right? Basically, okay. it's this person who's driven insane in a room. And they get they get locked in there and they have to sit there forever. And after a while, all they look at is the yellow wallpaper. And the yellow wallpaper turns into like a cage for them or something. I'm paraphrasing because I read this like 
fucking five or six years ago and I didn't like it that much. But basically, she tears away the wallpaper in that scene and it's yellow wallpaper with like flowers on it, like much like the fucking short story. So I was like, I'm pretty sure that's a literary reference to that because they said she was trapped in the room and being held captive there. Boom. Yep. Congratulations. Yeah, fair, you made a literary <laughs> reference. You still lose five points for it, show. <laughs> You're being pretentious. Forced Fuck it. you. <laughs> You're being pretentious. Yeah. I hate you. Fuck you. Get out of my face. I see. That's the thing, dude. I don't even mind the slow burn. Like I like Daredevil. I love Dark. I felt like Dark was pretty slow burn for the first half of the first season, at least. Yes, it was. But, but like, they did it well. That's the thing is they turned it around and they made it work. This just never worked. Like they slow burned it and then they slow burned it right in the ground. Do you think they like, could have turned it around if they had more episodes? Mm, I don't. Uh, I don't not know. The way I they don't took know. It. Not yeah, not with what happened at the end of the ep- the last episode. I can tell you that much. But I feel like they had something there. Like I was pretty low on this show, but like honestly, they had a concept that could have worked if they just were a little bit better about it. I I wholeheartedly agree because the kidnapping children thing was like really cool to me, and then all of a sudden they're yeah. like they're like weed. I'm like what? We're smoking the yeah. reefer now. I just I don't know what's going on, dude. Like I don't know. I felt like there was only two smart characters: the black dude and the old lady that they killed off. Like they couldn't talk. Also, yeah. Yeah. holy shit! Could it not have been more obvious that dude killed her before he even out yeah, my ass? Oh, uh, oh, uh, you're you're not gonna do an autopsy, are you? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what? Why did that Who dude not instantly that? do an autopsy after that? I just, I don't even know, dude. That was just silly just, writing. She died of a stroke, nothing else. Okay. I'm just, some of the, yeah, what? like you said, some like, of the did writing. Did you stroke her with, you know, a fire poker thing? Like, come on, dog. I also thought for a minute they were going to go with it. Karis is the bastard child of Rose and Trudy's dad. So the whole time they're actually sisters. Mm. Oh. I thought See, that's, that's kind of what I thought was happening when they introduced the the cheating plot line, but they never went anywhere with that. So I was like, whatever. But also, wouldn't it make sense? Well, it, it could make sense because you don't know how long he was cheating with her for, you know? Yeah, I mean, to that point, I mean, I had a lot of different theories. Like, it wasn't predictable. I'll give it that. Like, I mean, it, let me rephrase. It was semi predictable, but like, what happened couldn't be predicted, in my opinion. Um. But I had a bunch of different working theories that would happen. I one of them was that the cop chick, I forgot her name, the the chick cop Graves. was actually okay. I thought that Graves was her adopted mom, I guess if that's what you want to call her, and she got thrust into the past when she like went into the town. Oh shit, dude! I was I don't know. I was on something, dude. <laughs> I was on some crack rock or something. For snack pack? I was I was you smoking a snack pack. pack. To be fair, yeah, one yeah. of my theories from episode five was I said the detective dude is absolutely the Satanist, so that probably means he told the other detective chick to leave with the kid, and he killed another kid as part of a ritual, and now man's is gonna mm. do it again. So yeah, I thought that he told Janice to leave with the kid as a cover for that because like the whole town's gonna freak out oh Karis is gone Karis is gone so while they're freaking out over that he kills a different kid for the ritual see what I'm saying right. so I thought yeah. that's yeah. what happened and then I literally was pissed off at the episode five, at the end of episode 5 I said okay so the two random jabronis who haven't been in the show at all are the bad guys all along how well, am yeah. I supposed to guess yeah. that yep exactly. you, that's why I say it's semi predictable but like you cannot predict that it, like, I I don't even know by the end of the show what their relation to any of this was, besides the fact that they were the the cult people. Well, like how how did they like were they related to anybody else in the show? Like did I miss something? So, the woman is a witch, right? She's a freed up witch. She's a wandering witch, from what I could tell. The the dude who was with her is a normal dude with the with his wife. They did there so the people who are in the inner circle of Satan and shit, other than the witch, all want something out of this. So they're all trying to get things. The Australian dude, right. he wants um he wanted the fucking the gimmick. Money. Yeah, he wanted the money. The detective dude was part of the weed cult people, I think. Mm-hmm. They they, they make it so real too. weird. Because they said he was and they said he wasn't, because he was breaking mirrors. I don't know why he was breaking mirrors when he's the one who needs the mirrors to summon Satan. So I think that he was part of the, you know, the weed gimmick. Uh, there's, some, I forgot the other couple people. Well, the other one, the the man and the husband and the wife wanted it because they wanted to be rich. Like they all basically, yeah. they all wanted something 
from this because they were they were told that it was given to them by angels when in reality it was given to them by demons right right you would yeah and with the rituals they're doing i think it would be common sense that that's i think not some if you fucking have shit. to kill children for it <laughs> yeah, you aren't yeah, summoning right? angels holy shit are everyone yeah. brain dead like man that's what I'm thinking. either they were brain dead or they didn't care it's one of the two i just i don't know dude i think you're telling me you wouldn't kill a, a child to be like filthy rich no no it's okay i wouldn't either i just had I to kill a, i killed an adult straight. But not your kid. <laughs> Once the kid was like man. Hitler. <laughs> I just I felt like they had a I don't know. I felt like the first episode, like I was like, oh cool, this is like a horror show. Like this is kind of creeping me out. Like the mirror thing. I was like, damn. No, like some, for sure. Something's gonna like jump out at the mirror and like something's gonna like live in the mirrors and stuff. Like that's gonna be cool. And then it wasn't. So then I wrote Mirror Mirror on the Wall, what's the shittiest Netflix original of them all? Dude. And then it was this one. The music, the music thing pissed me off because I was such like a weird red herring. Because I thought like the music was cursed music, right? Which it kind mm. of was. But the music means that they can mount the devils on you. But what's stopping people from playing that song anywhere, anytime, and causing devils to get mounted onto you? Because that's what that's happened what to Hal. Yeah. Hal played the music and the devil mounted was right. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that, actually. The only reason I know this is because I was thinking at the end, I was trying, after what happened, I was trying to piece together, does this make sense? And it did. It actually did, surprisingly, make sense. Because there was a bunch of things I'll tell you about once we get to there right now. So basically, former cop, they get Matilda, Tilly, whatever the fuck you want to call her, fucking bitch with the ugly ass bangs. Sorry, not sorry. Them shits look like a wig. I don't know what the fuck you're doing with that. But, (laughs) <laughs> in it a wig bruv uh <laughs> so she goes there she goes to save the kid david david was bait the whole time he had to come there willingly blah 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 blah. the detective's evil i don't know how she didn't figure out the detective was evil when he Jeez. mysteriously broke her out of prison for free skis makes sense and she even right. said you never thought i was right the whole time she's like yeah but you know i want to save the kid i'm like you're fucking stupid <laughs> yep she goes there they start the ritual the ritual is gonna mount an archangel onto her no, the fuck it's not. <laughs> so stupid. Shut the fuck so up. So stupid. No, it's not. Because it just doesn't make sense for it to be angels or archangels. Because why would we need to sacrifice children? Why would we need six people in a dirty ass basement with one person? It just makes no sense. Right? So I knew it was going to be. And once they said it's not just a regular angel, it's an archangel. So I was like, okay. The other ones were just regular demons. This is like Satan. Like Satan's coming. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah, I was going to say, at that point, it is an archangel, but anyway. I mean, is it, though? <laughs> well, I yeah, mean, yeah, I mean, that's for true. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's yeah. for true from Supernatural lore. That's, yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. Not from any, like, biblical lore, I mean. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, I don't anyway. read that book, though. That's pretty true. <laughs> 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 um, so then it gets mounted onto her, and she goes Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> She starts snack crackling and popping in the air, which was just gross. She's like, oh. she was doing the Harlem shake. I was like, damn, dude, she's I, doing if you can run it. Let me see if you can, <laughs> see if you can run it. Run. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the dude. fuck? Hey, man. Hey, man. I can promise you that she was not in as much pain as I was the six hours that I watched this. Yeah, like, I watched four I watched episodes in one day. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> back to back. Dude, to back. I watched. Yeah, I watched three today, and uh, oh, oh boy, yeah, that was so not my favorite activity. Yeah, man. So then after that, she gets the devil in her, and then they just skip. They don't show shit. <laughs> no, the devil made her do it. Bro. Yeah, the devil made her do it. She's in the hospital. They're like that, and she's like, I don't know what happened. And she's like, Well, you sure? And she's like, Yeah, I blacked out. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened, bro. <laughs> like. <laughs> and he's, she's like, well, I can't prove anything. And that is plausible deniability. <laughs> Even though she could absolutely arrest her for being at the scene of a yeah. murder. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't a murder, right? It's a missing persons report because they all oh, they, yeah. they disappeared. And oh, I'm, shit. Where'd I was like, go? holy shit. She slaughtered the whole fucking place. <laughs> right? yeah. I just knew. Right? And then I'm like, so the demon's in her. like, Because Hal came to Trudy. She's like, it's too late. We're fucked. Like, we got to go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they were trying to get a second season or what, but you ain't getting a second season, bitch. <laughs> uh, Dude, not for me. 
And that happens. Yeah, we don't care. She goes to the bathroom. She huffs some coke. She starts snack crackling and popping again. She looks at the mirror, and then her eyes go black. Oh my god! It was demons all along. I feel like I've seen that before, where you know people's eyes are black. It's like totally recycled, reused, <sighs> reduce, reuse, recycle. It's almost like I'm tired of hearing about angels, demons, and people with black Ooh. eyes. <laughs> right? You'd think after 15 fucking seasons of Supernatural, I'd be over this. Thing. I didn't need a 16th one. <laughs> Dude, this. Mm. So uh, yeah, she she has Satan in her, and then it just ends. Like I was pretty pissed off at that. Like what the fuck? You can't just end it with Satan being it. Like they literally resolved nothing. <laughs> Bro, you don't understand. She was trying to hunt for her family heritage, and then she doesn't find any of it, and she becomes the devil. Bro, what do you what don't you understand? Also, Matilda's a moron. They literally said we can't do this without you being able to do it for us, and she Bro. did it for him. Still, I'm just like you're fucking Bro. stupid. Yeah. She's dumb. So let me point out how this makes sense, right? She said she's always heard a voice in her. That was the devil because it's partially been in her since they did the ritual the first time and didn't finish it. Yep. She always, her mom, Jesus Christ, her mom died because of the song because the devil was nearby and so they could hear it and the demons mounted her ass and killed her because they wanted to send her back to the place so they can complete the ritual. The one night when she's playing the cello and she said she blacked out, ended up in the dude's bed was because she remember she killed like a deer or whatever, or a lamb. Well, that was because it was Satan mode and that's why she killed it. So that means Hal has a demon in him too still because he was eating a lamb leg or whatever the fuck. So that means like right. half the people yeah. in the town are still demon time and it just ends. So Trudy's well, probably going to die. Yeah. Is the demon still riding how though or did it like I, hop out from what i understand they stay with you okay i wasn't sure that's they what the really... red that's what the I mark know. means i think okay like they can uh, take I thought over that whenever means... <laughs> okay i just didn't know if that was like oh you have been ridden like and you're they're good now i didn't like, tell you what it what means it means, means this movie's ass i mean this show's ass <laughs> <laughs> that's for true that's, yeah yeah yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm yeah, done. that's all I got in it. Yeah, in it, bro, in it, in it, crumpet, it, tea, bro, demon. Crumpet. It's a demon, bro. It's, 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 it's too up. much. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. If y'all are expected to get something excellent, man, I'm sorry, man. You know what I mean, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not getting out of me. Yeah, this shit sucked. I'm fed it up. sucked. I'm <laughs> angry. I'm tired. I'm fucking, I don't want to yeah. be here no more. This shit yeah. sucked. We got a new, we got to get a new show, a new movie or something like that. Oh, we got yeah, yeah, we got spins on both. Normally, normally I would have, I would have, you know, maybe fought Reek on something like this, but I know he put in a concerted effort to find us a good one. He tried, and it just, it just didn't hit. It just didn't hit, you know. Yeah, man. He had an open three. We were like, take the shot. He, he just, he just missed. It went in and out. It's okay. These things happen. All right, we got erased or winter boy. We're gonna roll it now. I'm honestly, I'm cool with either of them. Hopefully, they're better than me too. I watch the winter boy. Winter Boy. We got the movie spin for next week as well. We never spun it. Yeah, I guess I'm spinning it right now. I just want to do Winter oh, Boy bad, real quick. Because I, I, you know, I said well, I was going to do both, sure. What's, got, what's, our, what's our movie choices? We got Anola Holmes slash Suicide Squad, depending on what happens first. Uh, if, I, if I get it this time, that means we're watching Anola Holmes. If I don't, it means we're watching Suicide Squad when I when that comes out. Uh, oh. And American oh, Assassin. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Yes. And American um, Assassin. I don't know what the fuck American also, Assassin Also... We might as well, like, for the people that are actually listening, Winter Boy equals Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's um, for true. Just in case you, you know, didn't figure that one out. Yeah, so we got Ebola Holmes and an American Ass. Uh, <laughs> we are watching... Uh, fuck! We're watching Ebola Holmes. Okay. That's I was, I was going to say, we could just watch American Assassin and then do the next one the next time, but I mean, I don't really care. Nah. No way we got Suicide Squad 2 out and ready. I put a Nola Holmes on there for a reason, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so that means that's, that's... Falcon, two weeks, a Nola, yep. Ebola Holmes next week. <laughs> Ebola yep. Holmes. Yeah. And what's, what's our ratings for this one? Oh, like, man. I oh. think you guys will get lower Four? than I will, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. Okay. Tr- Tristan. I was gonna give it a three. I was also gonna give it a three. This is rough, dude. I looked, I said Tribes of Europa was a three and a half. That one was really bad. This one was worse. This is the worst. I don't, I don't know about all that. Well, I, 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 I think I gave 
I think I gave Tribes like a five or a six. Tribes you definitely wild. worse than this. Yeah, you were smoking crack rock. No fucking way. No, tri- dude, no. There's no way. Dude, Tribes, tribes is tribes, worse dude. than this. I, I don't know. Dude, I Tribes, disagree, you gave a five. Re- tell, me one, tell me one character's name from Tribes. Good question. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna remember any of these characters in a month. That's what I'm saying. I only knew one character's name the whole time, and it was Tilly. Yeah, that's, that's the only fair. one you need to know. Oh. Hey, tribes. Tristan gave it a five. Reek gave it a quality five. Entertainment two. Yeah, and I gave it a I gave it a three point five. I gave this one a three. I think that's that's fair. It's right on the yep. scale. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, this one was. I said I'd enjoy this oh. more than you guys anyway. So yeah, four. Yeah, not the most. <laughs> Good job, you it's, enjoyed it's it. Not, it's not like you're being nice to it. I, yeah, no, not I'm not like nice. Enjoy, I don't think you enjoyed it more. You just you just hated it less. <laughs> like, yeah, that's for true. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, oh, that's, true. True. Oh, yeah that's true. We gotta end this, and that's for true. Well, that's for true. <laughs> that is for yeah, true. That's, that's true. Uh, all right, guys. So we thank you for watching. My name is Ben Enrique. <laughs> I'm Eli. Uh, And I'm Tristan. And I want you to remember, please stop putting demons and angels in shows.